Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hello everybody, this is Crafty Mom from Family Friendly Gaming, and this week we are going to make a bunny's butt. And this is what you'll need to do this. set this aside. To make the actual brown part of the bunny, we're going to take tan material and trace around a dinner plate. I've already done that just so I didn't have a plate over here to risk getting it broke. You'll need uh, pretty sharp scissors to get this all cut around. I'm going a little past my circle, You can, just depending on how big you want yours to be. Um, we will be using a pom-pom tail, which I will put down in the description box. I will link our other video from our website on there on how we've made pom-poms in the past so you can find it. Put that out of the way. So now that you have your somewhat, it's not a perfect circle, you're going to take a needle and thread and you're just going to do a loose gather around the edges it's not like you're doing I mean you're just going in and out it doesn't have to be perfect you know, about every inch or so you're just the main thing is just you're gathering the material trouble holding on to my needle. And the wreath that my bunny butt is on is done similar to our 4th of a July wreath, which there is, it's a red, white, and blue one from last summer, which that means summer of 2018. I want to say somewhere in June or July. I'm not exactly positive on the exact location of that, but that it's in that area area okay and we're going to start pulling this tighter so we're starting to gather it you can see how it's making pouch or bag. <laughs> our cameraman says a pouch or a bag but kind of like a drawstring bag that starts out flat kind of thing Now, before we get it too, too, you know, pulled together, this is polyfill or stuffing, whichever you want to call it, which is what we're using to make our bunny's booty. Tail. It's not his tail. The cameraman says it's backside. his tail. Now he's saying it's his backside. Because we'll be putting a white pom-pom on here that will be his tail. This is like his booty as it's going in a hole kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to pull it all together. Now you're going to have to sew this tight. In a few places you're going to have to put a few regular stitches in here to keep it in place because you don't want it to come apart. Get a 
few of the gathers on both sides. Might need a thimble if, just depending on how um, much your little fingers can handle pushing the end of the needle. Use our scissors and we'll trim it up there. Okay, so now we have our circle made. Be like the back side of the rabbit. And we're going to make his feet. His feet are gonna be out of tan felt. And I have a like a teardrop type shape. So I can cut those out. Take a piece of felt long enough. I just fold it in half. Put my teardrop on here. We're going to trace around it. Now, can the cameraman see that? That we're or no? And we're just kind of tracing like we would have done the plate that I had already done just to save time. Okay. So you have your teardrop. We're just going to. Since we have it folded in half, we're just going to build, that way we can get both of them cut out at the same time, and that way they will match. So now you have two brown felt feet, and we're going to take a small circle hole punch and use pink construction paper and cut out six little circles. It's just easier than this was found this was easier than drawing them on okay so now we are going to glue on the little feet we're going to use our hot glue you just have to be careful because the hot glue will be hot of course put your three dots on there I should have waited to put those extra dots on there because I just put my fingers in them. And there's a reason they say that hot glue is hot because it's hot. So, these on here. We've got one of them done. Like I said, this time I won't put the extra dots on there until I'm ready for them. Does that hurt? So now we have our three dots on the feet. Okay, so now we're gonna take our pom-pom and we're gonna put it on first. Get your little pile of glue there going. And you're just gonna set your white pom-pom on the glue and kind of push it down. That way it sticks. And then you will put on the feet. And there you have your bunny's butt. Thank y'all for watching and have a great rest of your day.